He just said, he just said something's dangerous. What's dangerous? Can't say. <laughs> what do you mean? What I you think mean? we all know. What, the clutch exploding? <laughs> nah, dude. That's possible. Nah, dude. This whole situation over here, maybe, but. Oh, yeah. It's going to break eventually. They all do. <laughs> when that will happen, who knows? But today, we're going to drive beast mode for the first time on its, what is this, like 6.0 setup? Rick, do the math, quick. He's right, 6.0. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's back. Yeah, BM 6.0. So there's only one guy for the job driving this thing. Maybe you guys have met him, maybe not. There's one breed. No, don't. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, take me longer back up. You're good. We got all the time in the world. Sheriff Leo. Oh, buddy. <laughs> when was the last time he was out? When he was panicking about trying to get this thing off his head? <laughs> I've seen that so many times I can't recall. Look what at this. Time you're talking about. About. <laughs> I wouldn't worry stay. about that. I, yeah, you don't. Start Take making clip. weird noises. You don't need Start that, right? Uh, I do need this. Uh, so yeah, real uh, exciting times here. Beast mode back after back a uh, eight to nine month hiatus. It's been far too long. Close you guys saw last time we got it fired up, got it idling. Now we've buttoned up a bunch of stuff. It's all together. The front end's back on it. We have uh, got a Kirky mounted in it with the nice tweed cover. She's tweed. solid, she's ready to go. Uh, we haven't washed it, so it looks pretty much terrible, but I think, uh, you know, if it does a good job here, maybe we'll reward it with a wash. I don't know, man. I'm she's not sure it's that important. State, dude. <laughs> it's just, it's better to be fast and dirty and then clean and slow. Think yeah, you're right. Just set the bar real low, keep expectations mitigated. and. See those? Uh, Nice and squared off big horns. These are Rick's horns. Freshies. Off Rick horns. Bottom. A lot of good energy in those tires. A lot of good energy. <laughs> what are you trying to say, guys? <laughs> <laughs> those... It's going to be converted to smoke energy soon here. But... Uh, so yeah, basically the plan is we fired this thing up, we've idled it a couple times, heat cycled it, everything looks good, don't have any leaks, everything's together, seems to be working. Gonna take it out for a quick little rip and... Uh... Build it up a little more. Just see how she does. Built. Everything's working great. It's a, it's a great machine. <laughs> Nothing could go wrong with it. It's built by professionals. It has top-notch parts on it. We cleaned everything perfectly before we got it put back together. Nick Seuss tested out the strength of the cage with his forehead, looking in there a couple of times. Suckers stiff. Yeah. <laughs> got, you know, I don't know. What could possibly go wrong here? <clears throat> so, I have yeah. no idea. Nothing, dude. Other Wait. than the track breaks. If you break the track, that can go wrong. What's There's the track? The freaking the world. If you break the world out there right now, then you'll have some problems. Other than that, you're good to go. It's possible. Get in there, dude. I'm not it's even possible. sure we're hitting the track. Oh. Really. I think the track's probably far too muddy. Too muddy. But we have too to do muddy. something to test this thing. It's got a race in basically what, like two days from now. Days, so yeah. uh yeah, just take her out for a nice little rip and see if she survives. Yep, 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 yep. I think the fire up will be the tell all here. Alright. Will it be good? Oh dude, no sh we still have the slow key. Oh, we got to find the right key. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a minute. Dang it. Dang it. All right, we found a key. Please. <laughs> to transform beast mode. Let it be fast. the key. We have been given the gray key. Green is for go. Gray is for re really go. Really this is a really tough angle. Please. Ah, no. no. Sheriff Leo. Does that, does that mean it's good? No. 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 It's got a crank. Crank or do it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, she's good. Woo. All right, let's go. Gosh, dang. Been a while since we've seen this sight. Oh, yeah, she's got the little lope back. That's the beast mode we know. All right, give her a little left steer, bud. There you go. <laughs> One eternity later. Keep going. Sure. Look at that. Beast mode in the light of day. It's been a long time. That's a sight to see. Very cool. Woo! Hey, how's she feel so far on the first drive? Uh, I forget how scary the clutch engagement is. Super scary. Like 4,700, <laughs> dude. A terrifying machine. I mean, it was at 6,000 at one point. What the f are we doing? <laughs> what were we doing? How was I driving? <laughs> savages. Absolute savages. I'm nervous, 
better than that so okay okay sounds okay so far big old turbo's doing stuff <laughs> yeah. it wants to go <laughs> Okay, a little break up there, didn't sound great. See what he thinks, if it's a misfire. Maybe it's just a rev limiter. She's got a little burble, she got a little burble. I hear the burble. Yeah, so I don't know why it'd be breaking up, but it's, uh, I don't, I don't, there's so many things that have changed on this car. Right. And so many parts that are old and sat outside. Nearly impossible to know what's going on. <laughs> I did notice the oh, fuel pressure's still high. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, but it does seem like it wants to just really go. Okay, well that's good. Like, like it wants to go. It sounds like the turbo is wanting to light quickly very quickly and it was yeah it made like 40 pounds down there but it was just broke up okay okay I, you know i don't want to be this guy but we might have to put the brisk plugs in it <laughs> i had this idea of an ngk in there uh, rick told me no matt told me no mike reed told me no it's been a lot of internal arguments about uh the plug to run and the gap to run on the plugs that uh, is probably the issue. I'll be honest with you. I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> I thought for sure it would be fine. Uh, well, I mean, we can uh, pull a quick log from our AEM dash and uh, just see what the fueling's looking like. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that'll kind of give us an idea of whether we've just got a classic misfire or something else going on. It looked good. The AFRs were good. They didn't get spicy. They were like, you know, low 11s, which, okay. is, which is pretty good. Yeah, you know, not pig rich or anything. I'll probably do it one more time up and down just to really ensure that the plugs I want to run aren't going to work. <laughs> I think that's it. Though. Yeah. Uh, you know, it sounds like a classic misfire yeah. Yeah. Hey, ignition. 16 thousandths gap. Might not make sense to you, but it's what it likes. Guys, right? It's just so <laughs> small. All right, yeah, no I big deal. Iridium's at twenty thousand. You think that'd be fine? You'd think. One would think that would work. But maybe a lot of work. cylinder pressure in there, brother. A lot of cylinder we'll pressure. Run her once more, dude. See what she wants. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Super duper unhappy. It's all right. We can fix that. <laughs> they know. They know. <laughs> all right. Bring her back in. We'll sort that out. Well, as some other people on the internet say, shoe buddy. Shoe buddy. <laughs> This, uh, yeah, these plugs are, they're spark plugs. So this is what I was trying to use, which is an NGK uh, fine wire iridium style. It's one heat range cooler than stock. Uh, they look okay, but unfortunately, they might've been the cause of the misfire. So Doug's putting in some brisk, which is what Evo recommends. It's a standard style copper core, known fine wire, boobly glop. Yeah, just uh, gapped real tight. What, we're at 20 thousandths? And the NGKs were at uh, 16 on these bad boys, so uh, we'll give them a run and see what happens. <laughs> hey, proven plugs, dude. They worked in Rick's. Proven. Proven. Can't complain. We'll see. Everything else looks good. No leaks. We got that going for us. Matt, how do you feel? What are you working on, bud? Oh, just putting a turbo on uh, 268 here. Ooh. Hopefully bringing her back up to 268. Yeah, you guys remember so, that old turbo broke, and this is what actually broke on it, the wastegate flapper. 
So this will divert your uh, exhaust either to the turbo or around the turbo through this hole. And uh, when it breaks, it just diverts it all around the turbo and you have no power. No boost. No Maybe boost. Maybe one or two pounds, but yeah. essentially none. Yeah. And Nick's over here just <laughs> polishing this rig up. No one really knows why yet, but he's just been, know, I just been obsessed with cleaning. I just feel like cleaning this machine, like to its maximum potential. He actually went through and compounded all the plastic, so. Compounded, polished, and wet. And it's ceramic coated it. So seats are out, interior is looking good. I don't know what he's doing that for. Waste of time. What, what could you be doing that for? No idea. Do you want that machine? I don't know. I want the machine. I would take it. It's right now, it's the cleanest machine we have. It's a good, uh, Gigi's looking pretty good back there. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go again, what yeah, do you think? Balding, so what? Listen, in the great words of the, of the late Scott Harsock, dude, we're cock locked and ready to rock. Oh, Honestly, dang. RIP. RIP, right? Scott. Uh, yeah, so we got the uh, fresh plug in our gap down. Laughing? It's not funny, man, come on. Nothing I'm not funny. laughing, dude. Uh, fresh plugs in it, all gap down. Uh, we had one uh, thread that holds a ground strap for the coil. That was a little spongy feeling, so we went ahead and Healy coiled that. So we're 100% sure we got good grounds on all the coils. Uh, we'll try again. Hey, what do they say? Ground, 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 baby. Ground, ground, He's right. ground dude. Fingers crossed that cleans up the burble. If not, we'll dig in a little deeper, start evaluating some data, but uh, data, data, software. Well, let's see it, man. A lot of gravel being thrown. I think I still heard a burble. Uh, police are coming after that. Oh, we are in the danger zone here. This is highly dangerous. <laughs> a little cleaner. I think it does sound better. I believe that's just him pedaling it. So we'll see if he stays in it a little longer on the way back. Sounds a lot better. A lot better. <laughs> uh, a little dusty, Doug. What happened? Super dusty. Yeah, it turns out uh, despite 10 inches of rain, it's still dusty out here. Not sure how that happens. Yeah, but. I was to say, but uh, it makes 41 pounds, which is not enough. Yep. But. Sounded a lot cleaner. It's working, so. Good. I'll okay. probably do some donuts. Really get these tires smoking. Yeah, I, I think agree that's appropriate, that. right? Yeah, just uh, give her a good test there, and then we'll bring it in, see what we can do to crank those numbers up. Hey, Frankie, where can I do donuts? It's running well though. Yes. So that's the important. Oh Lord. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, yeah, we should probably get out of here, eh? Right? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that was a real good test I there. Didn't, I don't even <laughs> want to say it. Rick, tell him. Hey, 16,000 on your plugs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd joke around with you about the motor. Oh, uh, come anyway, on. The motor's fine, turns out. It was making like 41 pounds, which isn't enough, but it's enough to burn some tires, as you guys can see. <sighs> yep. I don't know who this was driving. driving's real bad here. I'm sorry, I can't That's see okay. anything. <laughs> The guy that was driving this thing was driving like an asshole. Yeah, that was really uh, that was really crazy, man. We're gonna have to talk to that guy. But uh, he left. He got up and left. All right, that's good. So we need to do a little work to find the rest of our boosties here. I think we just need to adjust up the wastegate actuator. Just crank it to the and, max. Uh, I mean, we need yeah, probably like twenty. Probably like at least ten more pounds of boost. Yeah. So if we put it at twenty, crack pressure at twenty. I think that's where it was before. Okay. So they, rec they recommended a lot of things. We didn't take any of the recommendations yeah, into account. Not how it works but I around think we here. Probably look at uh, fueling on the AM, figure out where we're at there. I can yep. mess with the old actuator. All right, sounds good. I'll pull logs, crank that actuator up. I'm going to pull a log uh, somewhere else as well. <laughs> Taco Bell. Uh, all right, so are we going to continue to field test this thing or are we going to put it on the old dyno? Oh, sure. Or, uh, you know yeah. You know, that's a good spot for doing some test and tune. Um, let me think. Yeah, I guess we can probably adjust crack pressure around the dyno, huh? Yeah. See what she does. Maybe we'll we just see what it makes on 41. Yeah, maybe we make a base pull and then uh, we start cranking it up. Yeah, Turn the right. actuator up, double check all our lines, make sure we ain't got any boost leaks, make some power. We've got a lot of stuff to move. There's a lot of crap in here. All right. right. I'll pull this up, we'll get the moves. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, oh yeah, that's fine. We're good. Beast mode's on the dyno. It's a big day. You Yesterday, excited? Rick made 309. Wow. Today, Sheriff Leo's gonna make what? We all got our guesses in. It's another hundred dollar round. Are we guessing the final number today or are we guessing this run? Right here, right now. Right, right here, right, right now. now run, okay, 40 it. pounds? 40, 41 ish pounds. Who knows what we'll do on the dyno? Nobody knows. I might just blow through the clutching, it might spin the tires, but that is part of the game. <laughs> so it's a hundred for a round again? This is a hundred right now. You missed it yesterday. I won, so. How, how is that? I don't understand how you keep winning. Like, I don't get I it. guess six horsepower away. I've educated uh, dinos, man. It's a good guess. It's a good guess. Is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, I got a number. Are you ready for it? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I'm saying 305. Oh, okay. 41 pounds. And I'm saying that because I think it'll make similar power uh, to Rick's, but it's on a soft bias ply. Not a lot of air in them. I think that's going to scrub a few. So, yeah. Good, good guess. Yeah. Where are you at? A moment, please. 338. Okay. Nick Seuss, where are you at, buddy? 16, dude. Stone Austin. Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> where are you at, Matt? I was at 327. All right. I'm at 343, boys. Wow. Going okay. big. Okay. I like it. I got Nick, Nick Seuss syndrome. I know I know what it's like. It's going to make two, well 209. Go you yeah. might as well just send her up there. 315. Dude, Austin. Anyway, all right. Time to make a pull. Yeah, let's roll her. All right, grab her, Dougie. Let's do it. All right, boys. This could be this could be exciting. I mean, typically I would make a little soft hit just to make sure it sounds okay, you know, or full pull. Okay. Sounded tough. It actually did a pretty good job. I thought it would blow through the clutching or something, but it sounded good. Held the button on way too long, so the data's gonna be weird. But... Nah, that's all right. That's all right. We'll get it. Okay, come on, baby. <sighs> oh! Damn! Holy wow! Man. Told you. Wow! Guesser, dude. Big guesser. You know what? At the end of the day, that means it's working right. It's a similar boost level to Rick's, but it's, you know, got some other stuff in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at how perfect that looks. Can you move that max power thing up there just so we can look at the curve? Man. Like that curve is great. That was a super successful first pull. I would love to see yours on those tires. Oh yeah, that'd be, yeah. A, be a good test. <sighs> those tires stuck really well. Look at where it made peak power too, at 75 miles an hour right here. So max engine RPM, got to about 9,500 RPM. 
Like it held pretty good too. Like that clutching doesn't look bad on the dyno. That clutching looks freaking great. Yeah, she spiked just a little bit, but then flatlined really well. So we're looking at the dotted line. Wow. That was a wild run. Like that was first time I've been like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I mean, three, 339 is pretty darn good. Like I feel great about the number. I'm also happy, like, look, just look how good it is. Clean. Yeah. Clean. Super clean. Very clean. Man, those plugs, son of a. <laughs> dude, brisk. brisk, dude. You know that. <laughs> brisket, dude. Uh, wow. Yeah. So I guess we could probably look and determine how much boost that was because my eyes were just not focused on anything useful. Yeah. Let's let it cool off a little bit. I'll pull yeah. a log. We'll see how much boost it actually made, and then uh, go from there. But wow. I mean, we with the amount of boost, we could be creeping towards 400 wheel today. I think. Yep. If we add another 10 pounds, like we're supposed to be at. Spicy. <laughs> Spicy. All right, so oh, you know what? I just realized, frick, that's a new dyno record. Obviously, we haven't had 2JP on here, but. Uh, I'll take the top. Clip the YXZ, dude. I'll Good work. <laughs> I thought we had a thing. Didn't you have a thing out here somewhere? Nah, the thing's gone. Yeah, it's, it's a mental it, thing. It, <laughs> okay, well, anyway. It's right there, dude. Just take care of it and edit, dude. <laughs> take care of it. Oh, yeah, there's the list. You see it? That's a cool chart. That's going to take track and everything. That's way too Okay, hard. well, let's uh, cool this thing down, do some yeah. checks, and then uh, try to make more power. All right, hey. Good job out there, boys. I'll take another hundred bucks. Excellent work uh, all around. Get hundred bucks. Dude. Wait, wait, wait. That's I'm fine. four away. I'm one away, dude. Wait, what did you guess? Three thirty-eight. Woo! <laughs> he said, "My boy's wrist, dude. My boy's wrist." Hey, park it. <laughs> well, boys, Dougal's man in the laptop getting some data. We just got something in from Summit that's part of the weight loss program. Matt, what do we got here, buddy? Uh, we got a lithium-ion battery. I like that. I don't know where it's from. It came from Summit. Battery tender. Oh, it is a battery tender brand, huh? Yeah, I think this is fairly new. We have a Braille in 2JP, mm -hmm. which was like 600 bucks, which is you know, a lot for a battery, but the lightweightness and the cold cranking amps, that's what you need. But in beast mode, this is like a 440 cranking amp. It was only 200 bucks. Not bad. It's not that bad. Maybe like double the cost of your standard power sports battery. We all know about standard power sports batteries. Yeah, 8 amp hour, 480 kaka. That's a lot of caca, dude. Hey, that's caca. Dude, battery. Cheers. If you have kids and you say that's caca, just stop doing that. I, it's huge annoying for me. That's uh, a... <laughs> caca. Uh, Whole bunch of foam. Oh, nice. Space it up. OK. okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Wow, that's a good wow. one. Wow. It feels like one of those demo batteries you see at a show. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels like a big piece of plastic. It's just sweet. Oh, Rick, you ready? <laughs> 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 what the H? <laughs> that thing's crazy. I mean, I'm gonna save probably 25 pounds by moving to that battery, which is awesome. Seriously, for 200 that's bucks, that's a pretty good, good deal. Battery. It's it's uh, like uh, see, I mean, so it's just weird. Your mind thinks it's gonna be way heavier. Yeah, I mean, traditionally speaking, that battery would probably weigh. Get her with pounds. two fingers, dude. Huh? Get her with two, two fingers. fingers, dude. <laughs> oh, upside down. Oh, you would never be in the world, baby. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Spin it. Okay, I need the battery. No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, okay, please. I don't want to buy another one. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, shouts out to Battery Tender for giving this to us at MSRP. Like, I'm pretty jacked on that. Battery Tender. 12 volt. Kaka. <laughs> Google's not having any of it over there. Why is he just staring at it? Logging. He hasn't blinked yet. All right, I got some data for you. We got the data. Hold on, before the data. Uh, where's that battery at? Dang it. I said over there. Dang it. Throw it to him, Nick. Just when you thought 2JP's battery was the lightest battery you felt. Alright, alright. This sucker is too light. Act like it's super heavy, dude. Do a mime <laughs> thing. You need, you need help with that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It weighs nothing. There's nothing to it. There's nothing to it. I could just drop it right now. Whoa. Oh, Probably please, no. Bounce off the floor. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> Imagine poking that sucker with a knife, dude. Yeah, sweet, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, pretty oh, BA. Same width, or, uh, weight is this filter. The filter oh, yeah. Might actually, we have. Dang it. We'll have to measure them. Uh, so, yeah. Color glare. There we go. Really good looking data here. Basically, uh, RPM, we kept it real simple. We're just looking at RPM at boost and boost here. So, RPM trace basically matches what we saw on the dyno, cool. which makes a lot of sense. In terms of boost, our initial peak was right around 45 pounds. Oh, nice. Okay, that's so way hit, more then. Yep, we hit 45 pounds, and then during the pull, we leveled out right around 43. 
Okay, um, so that's where we made peak power, which is interesting. So, yep. I wonder what's, yep. are we overshooting the power here? Maybe it's just, eh, where were RPMs at? 9450. Hmm. So, it makes sense, Wish we had man. Wheel speed. Eh, we it could makes a lot of sense. Correlate it with the data on the dyno, but we don't have that. Nah, yeah. I mean, we could visually overlay it relatively easily. The curve looks about the same, but you know, well, we hey, forty-three pounds. Yeah, you got out of it at eighty miles an hour up here, and uh, honestly, that looks really, really good. I mean, you're always gonna see. I shouldn't say always, but ninety-nine percent of the time, you're gonna see a little bit of boost spike on the yeah. first hit, and then the system's gonna catch up. And this is a really smooth, good-looking curve. I mean. To be running that much boost and only peak to 45 and then settle at 43 that quickly, it's doing a really good job. Yeah, I'm really, jacked really on that. Job. Yep. That's I'm a little bit less excited it's making 43, but you know, eh, whatever. I mean, what's a couple of pounds? I, there's still we'll plenty of room to turn it up. So. We'll dial it up. Yep, yep, yep. Why are you so close to me, bro? <laughs> I want to hear what you're saying. Oh. <laughs> I heard dial it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's put a couple uh, pounds in it, crack pressure, and run it again, see what happens. I like that. I like that. We pump some more boost into it, make another pull, see what she does. How much more crack pressure? Ah, uh, we're about three more pounds. So we're not going too crazy, but you know. that yeah it was a little bit of flubber there but uh overall didn't sound bad so we'll see what kind of number we got here we got bets on that sucker uh, man we're doing enough we're gonna go bro i don't know about that rick already called the number just for funsies oh really yeah so we're making bets it's just a fun i don't number. care about the bets throw a number out there uh three five one okay he called three five six mm, you guys three, got 45 the heck the 370 dude 361 all right let's go oh, dude. 341 two more horsepower so yeah sometimes adjusting the crack pressure doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get more boost yeah you know, you know, could be you know. at the peak here yeah it also seems like it wasn't uh super happy deep in the pull so she came up nicely yeah and then uh, got unhappy around there and then continued to be unhappy. So, hmm. it uh, seems like where the peak power was too on the last run, and that's where it fell off. Yeah, so if we were, I mean, if we were going by this graph, click here, Nick. So 299 to 338, I mean, there's a potential it could have been making 40 more throughout the whole thing, but unfortunately, something happened there. All right, so we'll pull yeah. some data, we'll take a look yeah. at the AFRs and uh, see what she did there, see if we were running out of fuel or uh, what the heck the problem was. Where have all the boosties gone? Show you exactly where they went. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, uh, this is, could have been a problem for a long time. You know. The intake manifold, which is multi piece, the new ones aren't like this. Uh, experimental level, yeah. you just uh, lost a screw and blew the butthole right out of yeah, it. Yeah, see, see, that screw right there has blown out or rattled out and it blew the O-ring out, that. so. Look at that, that's just finger loose. Massive, massive boost leak. Oh, this one's totally loose. Oh my God, this could have been a problem for ever. For quite a while, yeah, we haven't touched that joint. I never touched that joint. It long time. Pre-assembled like that. Yep, so, all right, we'll take it apart. We'll see if we can get that O-ring back in place, get some screws back in it, and then... Uh, dude, chop, cut, rebuild, dude, featuring uh, Matt. Find our boosties. CCR. Early the next morning. Oh yeah, big squish. Early the next morning here, boys. Dougal went and got us a freaking O-ring to fix the intake manifold. Uh, all the bolts are tight and Loctited, so that piece shouldn't be coming off. What I did notice, which was sort of weird, is that it was idling richer meaning it could have been leaking this whole time. But we'll run this bad boy on the dyno here and see what she's gonna put down. We dialed back the boost quite a bit on the uh, crack pressure because we're thinking maybe it was leaking the whole time. So we don't wanna over boost it and go lean or whatever. So we set it back to 12, it was at 16 prior. We'll see, if it only makes like 38 pounds, I won't even do the run. She's ready, you got it. Okay, 
41, 42, maybe okay. 43 pounds. All right, that's not too bad. We backed it off a little bit, yeah. trying not to overshoot it, so it sounded a lot better on that run. So. Yeah, I noticed too that it also was idling Richard, meaning I think we probably had a leak this whole a time. A little air leak at idle. Yeah. yeah, 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 okay. Let's see, baby. Oh! Ah! Mode, baby. Same boost. What is that? Like 30 oh, wow. more horsepower or something? Almost 30 more horsepower. Dang. We were 339 before. Fix the boost leak. Same boost level. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, Damn. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. Awesome. Woo. Let's uh can we compare it to run two where it was hitting real hard off the line there? I want to see if I match that. Oh, oh my god, I beat it look everywhere. At that. Yep. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is the run we were talking about that I, I literally said, I think it was on the way to making 360 at the wheel. Yep. Not only was it on its way to making that, it made 365. Shoo! That's a lot of power, dude. Okay. <laughs> we're on to something now. I like, think... Uh, hold on. I just got to think here for a sec. All right, you hold do on, that. Hold on, hold on. So we're talking, what, like 20% drivetrain loss? Yeah, that's a pretty wow. good number. Yep. So three, let's say 366, probably like 440 crank Yeah. on the stock freaking ECU. Yo. Big numbers. <laughs> Big numbers. Yo. Wow, it's, it's interesting. It didn't really like, I can't tell in the car, it's making 30 more. But. Yeah, outside the car, I, we could hear it. Like <laughs> It was like, okay, that was a pull. Yeah, I she think was, we need to... Uh, she was trying to do something there. Let's maybe data log it quick. Yep. Uh, we can confirm that the 43 pounds of boost was good, but I think it's time to maybe add a little more to it. Yeah, we'll look at how much boost we made. We'll look at what our AFRs were doing, make sure they were under control. If they were under control, we'll just give her a little turn of the wrench and see if she's, uh, <laughs> you know, I got a 370 there. No, I 370, no problem. 370, 380. All right, here we go. He we gave her a little bump in the positive direction. See, we just squeeze a little more out of her. To the moon! She sounded pissed on that run. <laughs> that thing felt pissed. All That's right, not, let's see it. Come on, come oh, on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, boys. Okay. All right, so let's look at what happened here. Honestly, we just hit a little peak up top. Yep, 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 yep. Almost, almost not even worth it. It's a real similar curve. What we'll have to do is go back at uh, look at the data again and see yeah. if we actually, you know, made right. more boost. Oh, um, I, I saw 47 oh, on okay. the dash. Okay. All right. She got a little <laughs> spicier. All right. Well, let's look at the boost. Let's look at the AFRs. See if everything's looking okay. At the end of the day, either one of those tune-ups is going to go real fast. So we'll figure out what's safest. And uh, whew. let's uh, let's look at the discrepancy here before. It... So 375 was at 9500 RPM, and it made 363 at 9170. So it seems like if we could get that clutching under control and maybe bring the RPMs back down, maybe put more power to the ground. We also spiked RPMs huge right here. You mm -hmm. see what that is, Matt? That's yep. probably like 97.50, something like that. Yeah, 97.50. Yep. That was a yeah. big, 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 that was a lot of R's. Yeah. A lot of R's. She was choochin'. She was choochin'. Wow. Still well, made five more horsepower right there. That's, that's cool. Pretty dang happy about that. And it's together, and I don't smell coolant. No, she's good. And man. it's gonna run. She's like, no good smoke, to go. Yeah, yeah, no smoke. She is good to go. Look what at an that. Absolute beast. <sighs> All right, so we're probably like 450 crank right now. Yeah, she's stock ECU. Get out of here with that. She's making it. <laughs> Look at the data, dude. Look at the data. Right. Come on. What do you think, Dougal? 
Well, I'll tell you here in just one second. I love this AEM software, dude. Yeah, it's really nice. Here's what we did. We hit early in the run, 46 pounds of boost. Tapered off a little bit, kind of recontrolled itself, still holding 44 deep in the run. At our highest boost level, we're running about 12.5 for an AFR, so she's getting a little on the spicy side. I swore I saw 47 on the dash, but hey, you know, who's to say? Yeah, it's probably doing some uh, filtering, but it looks like good data. I'm going to say it's, we'll call it 46 pounds, 45.7. I'm jacked on that. Yeah, I mean, AFRs are not uh, not where she's going to blow up. She'll no. live there. She'll live there. Man, yeah, at this point, like, that was two back-to-back -back runs, so we could cool the car down. We could do clutching. You know, we could make a hero run to try to make even a bigger number, but I don't think there's a lot of value in that at this point. This thing's making a ton of power. Yeah, that it's, doesn't, the dyno doesn't really translate to the ground either. We got to go out and do a whole other set of tuning, but we're just out of time. We're out of good ground. Hey, we'll see you on Saturday, boys. She's ready for <laughs> action. See you on the big end. <laughs> yeah. Man, wow. So beast mode is back. Hashtag BMB. I think it's time to pick our winner from the last video. Oh, yeah. Ready for it? You did a good it? job of that. People, I mean, yeah, the, you got people in there did a good job, right? Has anyone contacted us yet? Yeah, I think Chadillac did, yeah. Oh, we did? We'll, we'll get back to him. Right. Uh, anyway, Google. Yelp, yelp, yelp. Uh, hashtag BMB. Talk about it. What do you think? BMB. Uh, again, yeah. You got a winner selected? Or, uh... oh, I'm, I'm trying to kill time here. <laughs> uh, in terms of Beast Mode being back, I am very excited. I'm very confident this thing is going to be much faster than it ever has been before. And then also knowing that we're right on the verge of another step with this thing. When we get MoTeC on this thing... Boost is going into the 50s, boys. We are really going to the moon. She's going to put down some big numbers. So very excited to see this sucker out there tearing things up and uh yeah you know as always we'd never be able to bring this stuff together if it wasn't for you guys these are uh wild builds we got a bunch of stuff going on here and uh we thank you guys very much for supporting it so and i thank jay wren for commenting hashtag bnb actually wait isn't it bmb B uh, i don't know where this bnb thing a lot of people are getting nb huh I'm just not enunciating well and um well anyway i still already called him <laughs> jay wren comment on this video and uh, we'll get you your gift card, buddy. Heck yeah, man. Thank Rick? you for... Uh, oh, sorry. I yes. thought Rick had something to say. No, I, yeah. No, is that what you got to say? <laughs> RMATV Rick, tell him about that. Huh? Tell him about that. <laughs> your big yeah, old hairy so, arm, dude. Yeah, there's a lot there. Anyways, Rocky Mountain ATV, we got an affiliate link below. Okay, you go to that affiliate link. You buy anything off of Rocky Mountain ATV. You get entered into a chance to win your purchase price back. That means you're getting your stuff for free, possibly. So go buy some cool stuff from Rocky Mountain ATV. Boom. And uh, yeah, get entered into a chance to get your money back. Last guy that won, Baja Designs S8 light bar. Same one that's on the ghoul. Real nice unit. A thousand Nine, bucks. Yeah, almost a thousand bucks he got back. Yeah, good hey, for him. You don't play, you can't win. Think about that. That's a fact, that's a fact. Matt, what do you have to say about these last few days here. A lot of work's been happening. I'm very excited to see this thing run. Yeah. Uh, it's a real cool machine. It's nice that it's back after 10 months, 11 months. 10 months, yeah. yeah. December last year. It's only gonna get better. So That's a great point. Stick around. Yeah, yeah. Not only have oh. we been doing a bunch of good work these past couple of days, getting this thing running, by we I mean pretty much Doug. Yep. Um, had a lot of positive dialogue taking place in here. We've got a lot of good ideas, a lot of Planning for the future, big brain stuff. Big brain. Like, this is uh, this is good stuff for you guys. This is good stuff for us. It's good stuff for everyone. So it's uh, behind the scenes stuff, but just know it's going to uh, contribute to making a lot more good content for you guys. That's what we yeah. want. Uh, we want to share it with you guys. We want stuff to be cool, and you're gonna like what you see. I guarantee it. Yeah. Hey. Glad to be a part of it, Doug. Glad to be a part of it, yeah. Thanks for supporting, as always, for everything you guys do, for watching all these videos, for subscribing, for donating on Patreon, for buying the parts from Rocky Mountain, like Rick said, for buying the parts through the parts site and buying the merch. Like, you guys are absolutely killing it, and uh, we're taking all your support, and we're putting it to good use. So. Oh, yeah. Come on back in a couple days for, uh, at this point, probably some real good racing action. It's Big time racing. And also comment hashtag BMB. For your chance to win McDonald's gift card, 25 bucks. 25 bucks. I mean, 
I've been to McDonald's a couple times in my life. I know what you can get for 25 bucks. It's three good lunches. You can take out an army for 25 bucks, dude. I mean, if you're buying cheap stuff, yeah. But yeah. You buy a lot of chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of chicken nuggets. All right, we'll see you guys. See you. See you, Matt. See you. See you. See you in it. Oh, I thought Nick was here. Just a dig. Love you, buddy. <laughs> Okay, it sounded like it was laid over on that one for sure. It started to come up and then uh, wasn't happy. Let's see, hit that save button. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna see much here. Yeah, let's just confirm. Okay, yeah, definitely was unhappy there. That's only showing 33 pounds. Hmm. All right, well, we uh, got some more digging to do. Where'd our boosties go? Where have all the boosties gone? Come on, Nick. Oh, come on. You gotta do the doo 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 doo